Dear God, we ask you to be with us tonight. We need as much protection as possible as we're dealing with something that's very evil in this house. Our experience here last time scarred a lot of our friends and we came back here to find answers and hopefully save some trapped spirits who are trying to find their way back home to you. If you can assist us and be our white light, that would mean everything. We know that you are more powerful than anything in here and we trust you to protect us. Amen. Ready? Beezlebub. I mean, right off the bat. You keep saying Beezlebub. Yeah. Are you? Are you Beezlebub? Yeah. So you're an evil spirit. You're an evil entity. He's the devil. Uh -huh. Did you trap a bunch of prisoners down there? Rise. Is there a god? He is there. But are you more powerful than he is? Bigger. That's where you're wrong. It's time. Is there a god? He is there. But are you more powerful than he is? Bigger. That's where you're wrong. You are actually a life path 11, which is the psychic. Oh! Wait, that's crazy. That's actually crazy because we had like a whole season of videos about how we think that he might be more psychic like than everybody empathic. else. No, wait, you're actually extremely psychic. Most people I know who are life path 11 actually work as professional psychics. Really? Oh my God. What are the odds out of all of the numbers? You are one of those spiritual outliers, 11, 22, and 30. You are one of them. Master numbers are 11, 22, and 33. So they're the master teachers in the world. So they're actually meant to shift humanity on like a really big level, right? You're here to help shift consciousness on the planet. Oh. So because, of that, <laughs> because of that, 11s tend to be late bloomers. Yeah, I'm a late bloomer with yeah. everything in my life. Everything. 